Howdy there entomologists, my name is Jack from Kentucky Bugs. As you might remember, last year was the emergence of Brood X, the periodical cicada brood that came out last spring and summer. Female periodical cicadas can lay up to 400 eggs after 6 to 10 weeks. Young cicadas will then hatch and delve into the ground. The nymphs in the soil will feed on sap of trees. They count the years away by keeping track of when the sap is plentiful and low. Every 17 years, each new generation of periodical cicada nymphs emerges from the ground in order to mate and die. There are three species that emerge every 17 years and four species that arise every 13. Last year, they came out in Kentucky as well as 14 other states. So many came out, in fact, that they clogged a plane's auxiliary power unit in a press corps plane trying to cover Joe Biden's first trip abroad. These periodical cicadas have black bodies with red eyes. They have staggered years where pockets of them emerge. These are what we call broods, and we have observed 15 different ones. However, there are cicadas that emerge every year as well. These annual cicadas can be considerably larger and are usually brown, green, and black. Now let's get back to periodical cicadas. While many of them come out as scheduled every 13 or 17 years, some of them, like a lot of us, don't show up to the party on time. Some show up to the party early, and no one wants to be the first person at a party. In 2017, Brood 6 emerged as planned. However, in places like Washington, D.C., some of Brood X started to emerge. While there is a pattern of cicadas emerging either every 13 or 17 years, there also is a pattern of cicada stragglers emerging either four years early or one year late. So how do these cicadas know when to come up? One idea suggests that these opportunistic organisms use an internal counter as opposed to a clock to figure out when to emerge. Have you ever miscounted? Well, think about if your brain was the size of a bug's. Think you'd miscount then? Well, cicadas seem to have that issue. These groups that emerge late are a small fraction of the total amount of cicadas that will appear with their brood. However, keep in mind that in some places, there can be millions of cicadas burrowed into the ground per acre. Theories as to why cicadas started to emerge more periodically pointed to climate patterns and glaciation. Now, some theorize that climate change is starting to make stragglers not show up to the party on time. Others say that stragglers are a way to make new broods and split off from the pack. Coming out at a different time means that you don't have to fight for food or mates as much as those in the main brood. You can do your part by becoming a citizen scientist. Download apps such as iNaturalist or even the more specialized Cicada Safari. Doing this, taking pictures, and reporting these cicada stragglers can help researchers better understand them. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll have a new video up next week, and if you were bugging for more content, make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. I will see you next week. What do you call an ant that likes to do math? An account ant. Thank you all very much.